hello my loves how are you all today welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Sylvinia and in today's video we're going to continue with the series of celebrity style analysis and today's a day of Jackie Kennedy so as always with this type of video we're first going to talk a little bit about her style and how I see it and then at the end I'm going to try to recreate some outfits from her okay so basically Jackie Kennedy born as Jacqueline Lee Bouvier was the wife of the US former president John F. Kennedy which makes her a former first lady. She was a quite popular first lady and dedicated this role to leading different projects in the realms of architecture, history, culture, art, among others. In addition to her fluency in different languages, which was a diplomatic win because she could communicate with people from different parts of the world. She was very charismatic, confident, smart, knowledgeable, and beautiful, which obviously contributed to her popularity being regarded even nowadays as one of the most remembered and loved first ladies in US history. But going a little bit more in depth in the topic of this video, while she was a first lady she kind of became like a fashion icon, like a worldwide icon due to her fashion choices. After the 1960 election she commissioned the French-born US designer and family friend of the Kennedys, Oleg Cassini, to design her looks for her appearances as a first lady. And from 1961 to 1963 uh, he continued to dress her in some beautiful ensembles, including her inauguration day phone coat and the inaugural gala gown. Her whole aura and charisma is based on elegance and class. She's so beautiful, so graceful, so sophisticated and refined. And I think that that totally goes in line and reflects her style. If I would have to describe her style, I would say that it's very refined and very sophisticated, but also modern at the same time with some hints of preppy and old money. I'm not entirely sure if she was old money indeed, uh, because I'm not a US citizen and I don't have that very clear and the internet was not very helpful in that aspect but from what I could gather her parents were wealthy by the time that she was born so she definitely has that rich girl aura which obviously reflected also in her style I think like everyone she had kind of like two slightly different styles on one hand it was her public first lady style which was quite clean and sophisticated but with some playful hints and it was quite Parisian like let's not forget that she actually had a preference for French designer brands like Chanel and Balenciaga and Givenchy. It consisted of beautiful skirt suits, cocktail and formal A-line dresses, elbow gloves, pearl necklaces, pillbox hats, luxurious fabrics, and lots of colors. And then she had her private style, which continued to develop even more after she stepped down as a first lady, was more relaxed and casual and unpretentious, wearing more neutral colors, jeans, wide leg pants, short sleeve tops and turtlenecks, silk scarves, and obviously her characteristic huge oval sunglasses which were coined as the Jackie O sunglasses. Her first lady looks became so iconic that her style came to be known as the Jackie look, becoming fashion trends immediately and being reproduced by all big manufacturers. Her style was achievable and modern for the woman at the time. And if we're being completely honest, this style kind of defined the first lady look up until this day, being reproduced by other first ladies like Michelle Obama and Melania Trump during their husband's administrations. Due to her complexion and hair color, bright but also dark colors look very good good in her and she uses that to her advantage going for some pinks purple yellow red pastels blues also she favors neutrals especially during her later years she was the queen of color blocking and sticking to a theme when it comes to color her outfits often were based on a single color you know monochromatic looks and even though she sometimes wore them you rarely saw her wearing a print she was kind of like a solid color woman she always dressed very appropriately for her body shape which is a rectangle and she's quite tall at 170 centimeters and very lean and athletic which influences the fit of every piece that she wears because everything looks good on her this type of body actually allows people to be very experimental with their outfits because they can highlight any part of their body and still look flattery as a true elegant woman her makeup and hair are always polished looking relatively minimal according to the outfit that she's wearing and very flattering for her complexion you will never see her with like a crazy heavy makeup makeup or crazy hairs because literally her image is based on simplicity and elegance and natural beauty. Her outfits are always very well coordinated, never looking sloppy or imbalanced. On the contrary, everything flows 
very well. And as I said earlier, she always looks appropriate for the occasion and that speaks highly of an elegant woman as I always, always, always say. And her outfits are never too revealing or never too covered. It's just the right amount to make it look flattering and appealing. In terms of accessories, she's relatively minimal on jewelry. Nothing was ever too much or too over the top. If she wore a pin, it was nothing too ostentatious, but she sometimes added a little bit more for more formal looks. That being said, sometimes I think that in her personal style, she wears accessories as a standout piece paired with a very basic outfit. And that could be whether, you know, a belt or a scarf or some sunglasses. But one piece that is like a signature of her is a double or even sometimes triple strand of pearls. Other key elements in her accessories that kind of define the Jackie look are pillbox hats, white long gloves, and the big sunglasses. All of that being said, if you want to get the Jackie look, I would recommend you to stick with more structured pieces like cocktail dresses or skirt suits, pencil skirts, blouses, and pantsuits, but also basics like jeans, quartered sleeve top, and simple cardigan. But especially lean towards monochromatic looks, specific themes, and color blocking. And one thing that is extremely important is to always keep a polished image using uh, tailored pieces and very flattering colors and always keeping your makeup and hair quite natural and flattering. Okay, as I always do, I will give you some ideas of some key pieces to have to get the Jackie look. And that is first of all cocktail and A-line dresses, boat neck colors, skirts and dress suits, knee length pencil and A-line skirts, coat dresses, trench coats, knitted cardigans, white leg pants, capri pants, dress shirts, crew neck jumpers, quarter sleeve tops, head scarves, pearl necklaces, long gloves, block heel pumps, loafers, ballet flats, and huge sunglasses. And some of the brands and designers that she used to wear are Chanel, Lily Pulitzer, Dior, Balenciaga, Givenchy, Oleg Cassini, Norman Norell, Ben Zuckerman, Chesney Non, among others. So without any further ado, let's go recreate some outfits. Okay, so the first outfit that I'm going to recreate is this one. I love the simplicity, but also the chicness of the 70s imbued in it. I don't know which shoes she's wearing, but I decided to add some wedges to continue with the 70s vibe. Outfit number two that I'm going to recreate is this one. Once again, it's very simple, but I love how the belt becomes the focal point of the outfit and it gives a little extra to it. I personally don't have a belt like hers, but I do have a belt with a kind of statement buckle that I think that will do the job perfectly. Outfit number three that I'm going to try to recreate is this one. It's super sophisticated and stylish, I love it. I added a long pencil skirt instead of the knee length A length skirt that she has on to make the outfit, you know, slightly more modern. Outfit number four that I tried to recreate is this one. I love how she wears her pearl necklaces. I think that she brings to like a different and interesting element to an otherwise basic outfit. I honestly don't know which shoe she's wearing, but I decided to go for some black boots to keep the outfit, you know, smart and chic. But I think that it will also look great with some white sneakers. And lastly, outfit number five that I'm going to try to recreate is this one. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's very 60s-like with the shift dress and the ballet flats. I love it. I love 60s fashion. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you got some sort of inspiration. Let me also know down in the comment section which celebrity would you like me to do next. 
Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications down below for more fashion and lifestyle content. And as always, I will leave the links in the description box of all of my social media so you can go check them out. I hope you have an incredible rest of your day. I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao!